Elon, all you had to do was come in, observe the operations, and make some changes in the background. But no. Look, honestly, I don't know how much of the uh, workforce is depleted, destroyed. The numbers are all over the place. Uh, some people were saying there was 10% of what was left <clears throat> remaining called into a meeting, and then that meeting was called off. Other people were saying the only the only employees that are going to be left are the ones on visas because they have to be. So that's the bottom. It's somewhere between that abysmally low number and a not much better number of all the people or the few or the people left that did not quit. Um, people did his employees did not respond well to his ultimatum of Twitter 2.0, the hardcore version. Go figure. I can tell you us people in community notes have one employee left as far as I know. That's the head of the operation. So there's no tech people left anymore. So, I mean, if, even if Twitter continues, Birdwatch or community notes is going to break very shortly. I was reading an interesting piece about the method to Musk's madness. Well, it really wasn't a method. It was an explanation that over the years, he's changed and become more political. I mean, and it's just really obvious in Twitter. He's just trolling the libs all the time. He's owning the libs and encouraging other people to do so. He's doing all the things that the MAGA people really enjoy. He's undermining journalism. He's owning the libs. He's saying facts are basically the things that you decide what they are. You know, as if we we vote for truthiness on facts. That's been a big um, big talking point of his and he keeps talking about bird watching this way <clears throat> community notes that we're going to be here to to vote on truthiness that is not the way community notes work or could possibly work not that it matters anymore now anyway and really there's become no difference between the elon stands and maga people those are the same people now those are exactly the same people They're, they just enjoy seeing things being broken and they'll defend Elon till the end. And I'm sure after he destroys Twitter here, they'll blame it on the liberals somehow. It'll be the liberals' fault. So the story I was reading was saying it's in his new newfound political interest to, you know, to do the things I mentioned, undermine journalism, own the libs, um, exchange truthiness for facts. And also, uh, the other interesting aspect is it, if you undermine the structures of Twitter and, and the way it was used by uh, formations of social groups, then you also get rid of, you know, things like things that are formed now or could form something like BLM or people that stand for trans rights. He would like to see all those things go away in much the same way, you know, he's, he's bitching about class action lawsuits today that. He would love to see those go away too. He would like anything, anything that that affects his um, capitalistic instincts needs to go away, and maybe that's why he's really finding a place with this MAGA crowd. So look, MAGA crowd, you can at this point you can just stop, you know, standing for him. There's no point to it now, and don't blame the libs for what's happening now either. All right, let's read some of the doom and gloom um, tweets about what's left of employees. I'll take this all with a grain of salt because it's hard. Like, they're in the middle of a war, basically, right now. You can't count casualties in the middle of a, a war. But this gives us rough ideas. What I'm hearing from Twitter employees, it looks like roughly 75% of the remaining 3,700-ish Twitter employees have not opted to stay after their hardcore email. I mean, so that's a really low number. As we're all very aware, folks on visas are stuck, right? That makes sense. They would have to be. And those people are going to leave as soon as they get a job. Employees' badge access has been disabled, right? Let's put this in perspective. Okay. Barely halfway through the month. If 75% do actually stick to their decision today, the company will have shrunk by a whopping 88%. Something I can now add. 10% of the 3,700 remaining employees deemed critical. Right. That's the meeting I heard about. But that meeting never happened, as far as I know. So that would be 370 people. <laughs> it can't be that low. But what, I mean, what's really becoming apparent is it's too low. It, it appears to be that it's going to be too low an employee base to keep Twitter running. 30 seconds left, 35 seconds. Oh, he, well, he's, just, he's got his thing. Everybody here, we're all about to get fired from Twitter. Uh, I've been here nine years and nine months now. Same with you. How long are you here? Four years. Nine years. Four years. Nine 
No, no, he was after. Wait. Okay. Oh. Ten seconds. Ten, uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Happy New Year! <laughs> Yay! Hooray! That's a lot of pop and circumstance. Yeah, oh yeah, let's try the badges. This here is what it really boils down to, regardless of exactly what the numbers are. I know of six critical systems, like serving tweets levels of critical, which no longer have any engineers. There is no longer even a skeleton crew manning the system. It will continue to coast until it runs into something, and then it will stop. That's, that's the issue here. It doesn't really matter exactly how many. It's the types of people that are gone, and there's no bringing in other people to fix it. It, it takes months and months to catch up to where you are. You, can't, you don't just come in and flip switches and turn everything back on. Word inside Twitter is that a lot of employ, employees are not saying yes to staying at Musk's extremely hardcore Twitter 2.0. He has been meeting today with engineers to convince them to stay. His deadline to decide to stay or leave expired six minutes ago. Twitter Slack currently has hundreds of employees giving the uh, salute emoji. That's the one they've been using since the beginning to say, I'm out of here. Meaning they decided to not stay for Musk's Twitter 2.0 cultural reset. The company has just under 3,000 employees remaining before the dead deadline to say yes or not hit 20 minutes or not hit 20 minutes ago. Hearing from multiple employees that the odds of Twitter breaking in the near future are very high. Yes, that appears to be the case. And I can't say, I don't think... I don't think he intended for it to run it into the ground this quickly. I just think he's a fucking idiot. And he didn't realize he was running it into the ground this quickly.